Whether you're attempting to create a composite image that looks completely believable, or you're just having a little bit of fun with a more creative interpretation of an image, it's important that the images match up with each other. And that means both that you've created a good layer mask so that everything blends together smoothly, also that you adjust overall tone and texture so that you have the most realistic effect possible, but you also want to make sure that the perspective matches between the images. Here, for example, I'm sort of looking head-on at a brown pelican but the view of what's down below doesn't seem to match up in terms of perspective. I think I need to skew things just a little bit so that I get a more realistic result. We can apply a transformation to one or more image layers in order to change that perspective and try to create a more realistic composite. In this case, I think I'll stretch out the underlying shoreline layer. I have a shoreline layer, which is this background, as well as a brown pelican layer, which is just the bird sitting on the rock. And so I'll click on the thumbnail for the shoreline layer in order to make that the active layer. And then I'll choose Edit Free Transform from the menu in order to enter the transform mode. I'll zoom out a little bit because I'm going to have to do some wild adjustments. And so I'll press Control minus on Windows or Command minus on Macintosh in order to zoom out quite a bit. And then I I want to adjust the corners of the image individually. So I'm going to hold the control key on Windows or the command key on Macintosh, and I'm going to stretch out the bottom corners of the image. I might leave the bottoms aligned with the bottom of the image, or I might stretch those out a little bit, but the key is to alter the overall perspective. So in this case, essentially leaning the image away from the viewer so that we have a little bit more realistic perspective between the pelican in the foreground and the shore line in the background. I'll go ahead and zoom in a little bit so we can get a better sense of that change. And you can see that now our perceived angle of view to the background is changed a little bit so that we have a little more realistic effect. I'll go ahead and click the Commit button on the Options bar in order to apply that transformation. And then I can press Control-Z on Windows or Command-Z on Macintosh in order to undo that step. And then Control or Command-Z once again to redo. And so we can go back and forth and see that that perspective of the background has been changed rather significantly. And that gives us a more realistic relationship between the foreground and the background in terms of that perspective. So simply by using that free transform command on one or more of our layers, we're able to get things to match up, not just in terms of the quality of our layer mask or overall tonality and color, but also in terms of that perspective.